Okay, so um, this is a quick impromptu video. I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes. I want to keep it at five minutes, but okay, I'm not going to ramble this time. I'm, I'm, I'm in a little dilemma because I'm a little disappointed in the DJI Mic 2s. I'm surprised like a lot, of, a lot of people aren't talking about this, and maybe they are. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, I'm disappointed because I'm going back and forth. Like I really wanted these things, but I, I can't really convince myself to buy them. I have the originals right here, DJI mics. Then I have the wireless pros, great system. Um, the only thing that I'd say is better, there's a few things that's better in the DJI Mic 2s than the wireless pro, but it's not things that I would say would convince me to switch back over. Um, okay, what's better? Touch screens. Being able to navigate their menu system a heck of a lot better. Not needing any apps to change anything. Not clicking like a bunch of buttons, right? That's one thing. Um, form factor is a, the second thing that I think is way better than the wireless pros. Road, can you please? I don't under, I do not understand why we're sticking with this um, this hardware when it comes to how large they are. We need something smaller. Like Road is killing you when it comes to the looks. And, and, and the footprint, we need something smaller. Please, I'm begging you. The next iteration of the wireless pros or whatever you bring out next, it needs to be smaller, please. These things are too boxy and too big. Only gripe with the wireless pros. Now, okay, real quick. When it comes to the audio, um, wireless pros just sound way better than the, the DJI Mic 2s. Am I the only one that, oof, sorry. Am I the only one that notices that? It just sounds way better. Every video, I've watched 30, 20, 30 videos already. It just sounds better. I don't know what it, it sounds fuller. It sounds like a more professional audio system. It does. Now, we were expecting 32-bit flow. I think going forward, anything that comes out, everything's going to have 32-bit flow. What's disappointing is everyone's making this big hype about Rode and DJI coming out with 32-bit flow. 32-bit float has been around for so long, it's ridiculous. And the crazy thing is, guess what? Rode is not the first one to come out with 32-bit float in a small, compact system like this. Zoom's been doing it, what, for three years? A couple of years before Rode even did it. So, like, this hype about it is a little annoying because I have a Mix Pre 3.2 over here that, um, guess what? It's had 32-bit float, and that thing's, like, four or five years old. I don't understand, or at three or four years old, or something like that. So, 32-bit flow in a small form factor has been around for a very long time, okay? A couple of years before Rode even decided to do it. Um, okay, let's get into some of the features in the Rode wireless, the, the, I mean the Rode, not the Rode, but the DJI Mic 2s. I'm disappointed in all of that. I wish they would have spent more time on improving the audio. I wish they would have spent more time on giving us better accessories. Like, for instance, you get... Lavaliers with the wireless pros. You're not giving me any of that with the DJI stuff. And they're virtually almost the same price. I get more accessories with the wireless pros than I do the DJI. A little disappointing. Okay, features. Um, noise cancellation. Trash. Absolutely garbage. It sounds really, really bad. Anyone that actually values audio will not use preset features like that. Why? Because typically they're always too aggressive. And this is no different. The noise cancellation in the DJI Mic 2s are extremely too aggressive. I wish they would have allowed you to adjust it. Just like you can adjust almost everything on these little microphones, it needs adjustments because it's too aggressive. Um, anyone with their salt and gold understands you can do this in post. It's not a big deal, okay? Like, And it's fairly quick and easy what bothers me the most is when people try to tell you oh syncing audio or doing post-processing editing anything to do with audio is extremely hard it's not it's really really easy it takes you one minute max to do these things one to two minutes syncing audio is extremely easy okay very very easy but anyways yeah that feature noise cancellation too aggressive it sounds extremely bad um the audio gets worse when it comes to the sound quality, it gets really tinny. You lose all intelligence of your voice, What everything. You lose the bass. You lose the intelligence. It just sounds muffled and tinny. Not a good feature. 
Okay, Bluetooth. Now, I can see where they're going with this. I think it's designed typically for their Action 4, the Pocket 3. It obviously came with the Pocket 3 if you got the Creator Bundle, right? Great system for that. For that application, it's amazing. Everything else, one, it's not going to work with any microphone, I mean, with any camera outside of a, a, a phone. It's going to work with phones, but they sound bad. Bluetooth technology is not really there yet when it comes to audio quality, especially like in these small little form factors where you're trying to uh, transmit audio to something and listen to someone talk. It doesn't sound good. It's only it, like to me, it only works well with DJI products. And I think that's what it's really designed for phones and DJI products. Um, but it's not something like I use nothing but cameras, a seven, four, a seven S three FX three RX 100 Mark seven. I use those type of things. Like, sure. I have a DJI action four. I think it would pair very well with that. I think it minimizes what I need to take, but, um, that's not a feature that to me competes with the wireless pros. That's why I'm having a hard time trying to figure this out. Like, man, you gave me a bunch of pointless features. Like, you're trying to compete with the wireless pros. You're not competing with the wireless go-tos. Like, this system, the OG DJI system, competes with the go-to. And, in my opinion, is a significantly better product than the go-tos. I can't lie. These, DJI, even with all their faults, in my opinion, is significantly better because there's so much adjustments. There's a lot of things you can do to touch screen form factor um but when it comes to the wireless pros yeah i don't think so like the wireless pros are significantly better than the dji or ogs i think the wireless pros are still slightly better than the um mic twos for the dji i don't it, i don't think it's a large gap by any stretch of the imagination I think it's just a slight edge for the, the wireless pros. Sounds better. You get more accessories. Um, sure, you don't have all those gimmicks with the uh, noise cancellation and the Bluetooth audio stuff, which is really just designed for DJI stuff. Um, I'm having a hard time. I think the only reason I might pick these things up, if I ever decide to buy them, is... Um, form factor alone that's it i'll just love the form factor nothing else I, I just love the form factor and how small they are i typically like smaller audio equipment um again more accessories with the wireless Pro. why didn't we get the lavalier systems with the dji they exist i think the only person that talked about them was uh potato jet and we got a small snippet of what they sound like and they didn't sound bad I would love a comparison from anyone that has these things that can compare them with the um, wireless pros. Because that's what I think a lot of people would really like to see. Because, hey, with this, it's almost hard to find a lavalier system that works with these and does not have interference, right? Like, don't get me wrong. These have a lot of issues. Interference is one of the huge issues. And like when I say interference, I mean like the noise, like the buzzing noise. There's an issue with these. They only It doesn't work. Well, with the FX3, and I've said that before. But anyways, okay, that's my dilemma. Has that been fixed, by the way? Can anyone attest to that? Like, can someone make a video and say, hey, FX3, it works perfect. The DJI Mic 2s work perfect with the um, FX3. If that's the case, I might buy them. But I'm just a little nervous because, listen, this is a f almost $4,000 camera after taxes. Uh, I live in California. These, man... Too many workarounds you have to do to get this to sound halfway decent on there. It's not worth it to me. I'd rather stick with the wireless pros. But I don't know. Am I the only one? Maybe I'm the only one that's just like looking at this and like, what the hell, man? Why? Why do you give us gimmick features? You should have made the audio sound better. You should have given us lavaliers. They come with the wireless pros. You're not really competing. Both of you, both of them have 32-bit float. With just the onboard mics, wireless pros sound better. But damn, it's hard to overlook the um, form factor on, on the DJI. That's what gets me right now is the DJI's form factor. Okay, I'm out of here.
Am I the only one that thinks this way? Probably. But anyways, DJI, I'm disappointed. Come on. 